when I'm pushing into the ground and I'm turning, I'm creating force and pressure and torque into that. I feel like you're coming this way a little bit before you start down. That's it. Now land. Yeah. Oh. And it promotes, so that promotes, yeah. so the right shoulder was feet. absolutely, I know. It's just, it's wow. so freaking funny how that just. That was really good. So that's basically where it, where it terminates. So if I have this big rubber band on each side, I'm, my rubber band, I'm going like this. I'm taking both sides of it and I'm doing this compared to just doing this, right? I'm, I'm basically pulling it and pushing it. So I'm creating maximum load, maximum stretch, maximum winding. Look at how, uh, how deep his trail shoulder, his trail shoulder look like Rory's there. Yeah. I mean, I could see if he had something written on his left shoulder, I could have, I could have read it. That's, well, that looked like so Rory's good. numbers. That is so good. And everything is nice and controlled. Yeah, my feet are moving with my, my shoulder. Yeah. Create a little bit more width. That was good. Come on. Mm. That was good. <laughs> that was nice. really good. That was good. Okay, get water break. But the right, uh, yeah. the right elbow was absolutely money that. there. Ab the right elbow got nice okay. in front. That was yeah. really, really good. Come on, go. Yes. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. That's Come on! One, no, it's 140. It's going to bounce over it. 140.1. Yes. 260. That good deserves job. some knucks right there. Really That's good job. Hey, everybody. It's been awesome having Eddie here in town with us. We've got some really cool clips from our time together. It's been great here being here with Milo and Henry and the whole crew. Uh, really enjoyed Phoenix, my time here. Had some great students. I think they learned a lot just from my experience, Milo's experience, and helping them get faster, more efficient, and uh, become better ball strikers. So it's been a pleasure. It's been really, really a cool time for me here. It was fun. So without further ado, let's get into it. I tend to hit it really high, mm -hmm. especially the last four months or so. Yeah. And you can just see how his wrist load there. Yeah. It's like this the whole way down. Mm -hmm. I feel like his stance just gets too wide with an eight iron. I mean, that's when he kind of goes a little bit more. He takes that one little step. Mm -hmm. I think that could be an issue too. Maybe just get him a hair narrower. Yeah. That could help that. For me, it just depends on, you know, that's, Almost driver-ish, mm. just slightly narrower than driver. Yeah. I want you to feel like, wind it all the way up. I feel like you're coming this way a little bit before you start down. He spins on that left heel. He's got it all. Yeah. He gets here instead of getting... He doesn't he, land like No, that. he doesn't land flat because, you know, we have to be able to use that bone right there in the lead foot and the trail foot, trail foot and lead foot. So the dynamics of the right foot, right, which is what we have found, when I'm pushing into the ground and I'm turning, I'm creating force and pressure and torque into that ground. So the spiral line, which starts here goes across underneath and it kind of comes up here. So what I'm doing is I'm creating a big old rubber band. So this right leg, instead of being passive, now is active and I'm able to create a winding. And then it kind of comes up all the way. We'll get into that in a little bit, but what I want to do is I want to get here. I would like to see just a little bit narrow or just, just maybe like some drills and just try to get more this way and try to land in that left foot where you're using the whole left foot and not. I feel like I'm doing that because my pelvis is still back here. Yeah. It's because it is. Right. Because, <laughs> it, well, because if I can push, if I can actively push with the right side, right, and recenter. It's like my... his, his right leg is dead and there's, you're just, you're winding and then you're unwinding on it like right. this. And so this is just, you need to feel wind and then that winding, you've got to go the other way. So come here. Just take a couple practice swings without a ball. I just want you to land with this entire foot on the ground, get a little bit active, almost torquing into the ground, and just land on that entire foot. Okay. Yep. No, go ahead, swing. If your feet are on the ground, we have two connections, right? Our, our, the bottoms of our feet are on the ground, and then our hands are on the club. If, if, if we can't use our feet properly, 
right, then our body's going to eat the energy yeah. at some capacity. If, if we can't move our feet the proper way, and if our hands aren't on the club correctly, you know, if they're kind of fighting each other or whatever, I mean, that's everything, right? The only two connections we have is bottom of our feet and then our hands. So, and if I can actively use that right foot, see how my right knee, the head of the fibula moves? So if, if this is moving, that means the ankle's moving. That means the right hip is internally rotating. The rib cage gets deeper, the right shoulder gets deeper. And then it just sets you up for having a proper sequence and proper transition. If this is what you got, <laughs> right, <laughs> then you're always gonna struggle with the path shifting way too far to the left. Right. And when you try to put a lot of speed to it, it's just gonna get more exaggerated back. How about, how about when you land, feel like your little toe, feel like the pressure, just like, feel like you're landing there, okay? All right. It was better. It was better, definitely better. Okay. It's weird, I feel more off balance than when I go like that. Yeah, well you're not. Well you're very well trained going. <laughs> <laughs> He's just well trained going this way. This yep. feels, this feels there you balanced. Go. You're saying if he had like a gas pedal sort of under the ball of his foot, he's landing a little more there. Right, exactly. Spinning right to the heel. Yeah, because where, where's, the, where's the pressure going? The pressure's yeah. going to his heel. If, I can, if we can get him to kind of feel the force here, yeah. this, you know, and then, you know, yeah. chances are he's not going to go there. Yeah. There you go. That's better. Try to really feel like the whole way you're letting the <coughs> ball of your foot push down, don't let your toes feel like they come up. So you're, right. you're using the ball of your foot. Yeah. Feel the, the outside part of the ball of your foot. Feel the pressure on the outside yeah. of that foot. There you go. Okay. Lift up your left foot. It's different, but I'm just trying to wonder if we make, make him learn how to use the ball of his foot different. Yep. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, that That's better. better. Yeah, definitely. Do you feel like you're, you're using the ball of that left foot a little differently? I feel like... You're landing a little differently? No, I feel like my pelvis stays over here. I don't necessarily feel Versus like what? in my foot. Then it's Versus back. backing up? There you go. Yeah. Johnny, if we can get more active here, right, and just kind of use that whole bottom of the foot like this, right, kind of pushing in. And if we can get that right foot moving properly, it's going to help the left. That's it. Now land. Yeah. That was a lot better. That was much better. A lot of people think, okay, I've got to internally rotate my hip. So if I do that, what the hell is my right leg doing? Nothing. But if I start here first, if I focus on that, and if I use the ground, right, it, it, there's no way that I can go this yeah. way if I'm corkscrewing or, or creating torque into the ground, right? If, if I do this with my foot, grabbing the ground and rotating, mm -hmm. so just get active with the right foot and now land. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's a bit of a spinner. He's not a oh, yeah, no, a he's, a, he's a freaking spinner. Yeah, in transition, you're going to feel like you're like almost a little closed. You're, you're so used to going woo like yep. that. You're going to feel like when you land on that, that gas pedal, you're like closed first. You've got to use pressure to, to make you turn versus just, just you go be a wobbly turner thing. Right. <laughs> 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 Ooh, much better. If you can hit something like that where you almost, like a little bit of a sawed off finish so you're not wrapping around so much. Right. That was better. Yeah. yeah. And his upper center yeah. didn't go. No. Whoa. No. And then he didn't go, he didn't go there. Right foot, be active with the right foot. There you yeah, go. Yeah, that was really good. Still way better. Pretty good, man. So much better. Really get active in the right foot, corkscrew that right foot, land on your toes in the left foot. Yeah. Look at his foot. It's actually I mean kind of on the ground. It's so much better. Oh, like, look at that. If he different. if he if his if his variance is minus 0 0.8 to plus yeah. one, I mean that's yeah. I mean you can't really yeah, ask for anything better than that. Well and see like that's <laughs> yeah. that's only totally different than when you started. When you started you were hitting it way right because you were hitting it off the heel yeah, and yeah. you were slicing across it and mm -hmm. your path was way left. Now you're hitting it right because your face is just open. Mm -hmm. Once we get your face matched up, boom, you're off to the races. One more thing, along with the right foot, I want this to stay high. I want you to literally drop this on top of the ball. So if you keep if you drop that on top of the ball, what's gonna happen? I'm gonna 
Yes. I gotta go that way. But we don't. I don't want you to come out of your yeah, spine yeah, angle. Yeah. You know what I mean. So, all right. Just try that. Just as a, as a thought. Right side stayed high longer that time. Better. Much better. Mm. Sounded good. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's that's really good. Now we just Right. And then it's just the next piece is just the uh, needs a little draw, baby. Remember what we were talking about this morning, Henry? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Well the left foot is moving so much freaking better. There you go. Yeah, it's oh, not a... it's so much better. Now I want you to feel like you have to land left enough so you can hit the ball without hitting me. You don't have to go down so much, but a little bit. Now see how left you are? Now you could, you could hit that ball without hitting me from there. Oh my gosh. You could. There you go. <laughs> there you go. That was much better. Right shoulder was better there too. Right foot, get that right, get that right shoulder a little bit deeper. Yeah. That was good. Yeah, that was good. So yeah, that was, that was perfect. Right yeah, that right was there? that was the best swing of the day right there. Yeah. there. That little <laughs> yeah. baby oh, cut, yeah. fall right. Ooh, that might draw. Yeah, it's getting better. Come on, come on. It's probably gonna draw. Oh, yeah, oh, it's gonna draw. Look at the look yeah. at the uh, parameters. Yeah, curved. It <laughs> curved like what's your your spin it? access is like just tilted. <laughs> yeah, well, just just a smidge, right? All right? Same thing. Active in that right foot. Get a little deeper in that right hip. Oh. And it promotes, so that promotes, yeah. so the right shoulder was feet. absolutely, I know, it's just, it's wow. so freaking funny how that just. That was really good. He's moving a lot better than you were a month ago. Yep. A month ago you were getting shorter in your backswing, now you're, you're actually maintaining your height pretty nicely. Yeah, trail shoulder deep and just let it go. Yeah, he re-centers nice, man. You feel like you've kind of. Got your grip a little bit weaker since you started Maybe here today? Fair, but yeah. And the face is just coming in. It's, your path is right on the money. Your yeah. face is just a tiny bit too open. But, I was, but that's what I was asking because yeah. if he moved his grip just even just like a couple centimeters, it could cause it to just open the face just a smidge. Deep trail shoulder. Yeah. I mean, that face definitely closed there. <laughs> Piped. That was really good. Look at how uh, how deep his trail shoulder his trail shoulder looked like Rory's there. Yeah. I mean, I could see if he had something written on his left shoulder, I could have I could have read it. That's well, that so, looked like so Rory's good. numbers. That is so good. That was right. such a good golf swing there. Yeah, that looks exactly like a Rory shot but right look, there. But look, this is four and twelve six. That that's absolute money. Yeah. That's absolute money. I mean, that was probably probably less spin than that. I would guess yeah. it didn't look like it was twenty eight hundred, but. That was, that was really good. Trail shoulders, absolutely phenomenal. So we're up to 23 and 83. Yeah. Yeah. Really you want to add one more little thing in there? Yeah. Right. So, so that's basically where it, where it terminates. So if I have this big rubber band on each side, my right one you know, starts underneath and then it ends here, right? And if I know that my arm line, which is right here, let's say the back arm line, right? I know it connects to my skeleton. The only place my arms connect to my skeleton is this point right here. Yeah. What I'm trying to explain is when I'm winding up, right, I'm, my rubber band, I'm going like this. I'm taking both sides of it and I'm doing this compared to just doing this, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm basically pulling it and pushing it. So I'm creating maximum load, or maximum, load maximum stretch, maximum winding. And then I, when I unwind it, it's just like. Well, you're taking all the tension out of the system. Correct. So it's like. Right. There's no the slack. slack. Yeah. Zero slack in my system. I want to thank our partners, the Back Nine here in Gilbert, for allowing us to use their awesome facilities, three TrackMan bays, with a 24-7 access private membership. Check them out using the link below. And then I set a little sit move, and then I go, watch my trail shoulder. Watch how fast that gets behind me. I'm just winding, 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 and then in transition. What I'm, what I'm basically feeling here, this yeah. was 152, almost 223 ball speed. It was back in April at a long drive event. Basically, what I'm trying to do is I have so much confidence in my ability at impact 
and release pattern. Literally right across my chest. See where my elbow is? I'm pulling this across. I want to open this. I want to open up my whole rib cage. So I'm going to be... And everything is nice and controlled. See how my feet are moving with my, my shoulder? Yeah. And then the fifth one, pull it back, hold it, and then I'm going to turn my feet the opposite way. So I'm creating all kinds of torque. Okay, five seconds, and then just nice and relaxed. So go ahead, pull this right across your chest, move your feet with it. There you go, really good. Feels now, crazy. Feels good, right? There you go, that's really, really good. Move your feet with your, while well, you're pulling it back, your feet move in conjunction with it. There you go, good. Okay, now hold it. Now rotate your feet the opposite way. It's hard to do. That is really hard to okay, do. Okay, five seconds and that's it. I want that trail shoulder to get super deep and I want that trail foot to be really active into the ground, kind of creating torque and I want you to let it go. I don't give it where it goes, okay. all right? Should we get rid of the go where it goes part of the, the screen? Yeah. Let's, let's get rid that. of that. Let's make this an actual speed session where we don't right. care where it goes. It's north of 125. So here's the thing, right? Okay. In order for that to happen, we, what do we need to do? Everything okay, we've okay. worked on so far, right? We got to get that far trail back, shoulder deep. Trail shoulder I want deep. you to be more active in that trail foot, right? Yeah. I want to see this north of 125. One box. <laughs> Come on. That's it. I want you to be athletic. Good start. Be a little bit more explosive on the way back. And we're, we're, we're training speed here. We're not, we're not looking at hitting fairways. Let it go. Come on. Yeah. 22, 23. All right. Good. Come on. Let it rip. Yeah, that was better. Maybe 123 probably. 22, 3. Balls to the wall. Everything you got. What you have to do to get this to 125. I don't care if you have to be more explosive. Just let it rip. 23, right. here we go. All right, come on. More, be more explosive in the takeaway. There you go. Go up. Yeah. There you go. That's the hard part. It's actually going fast in the back. Right. But look, if we're waking up your central nervous system, right? We, we got to let it go. Eddie, how much time do you... Uh, Ooh. How much we're time having some fun. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just kind of. Don't be in a hurry. Yeah, I'm Take definitely not. I'm definitely not out You're of. You're trying to breath. hit him as fast as you can hit him. Right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get active in that trail foot. Just feels like maybe just slow in the backswing. I guess. There you go. Yeah. You almost got 25 though. You're uh -huh. getting there. So, so that time your trail shoulder got just a smidge deeper. Create a little bit more width. That was good. Come on. Mm. That was good. <laughs> Trail really shoulder good. deeper and try to feel like your hands get even farther up and back yep. there. Give yourself 100%. a higher, yep. longer hand path. Yep. Come on, you got to go over 25 though. Oh, Man, you're not leaving. Don't make me leaving. jump in there and show you up with two swings. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Man. 24. So 24. what do you, so we need what? What was your fastest 124 too? 47, 24, so, right. seven. So we need, we need a mile an hour. What do you need to do to get a mile an hour faster? Can you know, we, like can, just... can we put more pressure into that trail foot and really try to create some more force in, in, into that trail foot and kind of get it, you know, create more torque into the ground, which we're going to get deeper in that right hip. Right shoulder is going to get deeper. Right I want now. you to wind that spiral line the entire way. Okay. Load into that trail foot. Get that trail shoulder really deep. Load longer, longer, longer. Yep, right. And that's just sitting back. Yeah, you're just sitting back. You're not getting enough force lead side. Okay. Well, I got 26, though. That was better. <laughs> The key was loading longer. Yep. He just needed to keep loading. Right. 107. <laughs> Climbing the ladder. Yep. You can see his path gets shifted pretty far right, and that's mm -hmm. that what I that slop I see in the hands. Just yep. that's a good one. Yeah. If you like draws that come back to center line, it's pretty yeah. good. <laughs> that ain't too bad. Yep. 
wonky. He can't build the structure in his arms until he builds this. Correct. The, how you wind the system. Right. It's funny, like these are like, it's so, it's so interesting how these look like they're more effort and they're just not, they're going 10, 15 yards less. That one was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> that looked like it was five yeah. miles an hour slower than the last one. 155. And that flew 156 right on the money. Right shoulder is probably moving another 25 degrees at least. Your whole trail so, side. Just the whole trail side. Yeah, because so now his hips are turning. I misinterpreted your directions and trying to keep this in front of me. I was just kind of oh, right. well, stuffing the whole. That would make sense, right? Because if you keep the, the elbow here in external, right? You know, there's no way you can get that back. Well, that's here. the problem with one lesson. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> right, I know, right? <laughs> right. Eight months ago. <laughs> you can see how much more his whole, it's yeah. the whole trail side chain is actually so much better active now. Mm -hmm. And you just showing him how to do it with the band. That's it. It showed him yeah. what That's to it. do. And it, it all, I didn't even say anything about that. Mm -mm. He just automatically did it. He just, when he was doing it, just, his hip just went. You know, his, his shoulder went, rib cage, like, holy crap. Yeah. That's going to be drill A1 for you. New Fastest record. Fastest one, 160. What does it feel like? What, what, are you, what are you feeling? Yeah, I mean, it's just getting it, getting the shoulder back. I'm not concentrating too much on... That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, just getting that back. And you're, you're winding it all the right, way up. Right, right. Right? When you don't wind it up, it goes here, and then it's just... When I do it, I feel like the club is swinging itself. It's like just the club wants to, once I, if I wind it, the club just wants to go. And that's probably what you're talking about, right? When, when you did that with the band, did you feel like it was more? Let me do a few more. Did you feel like it was pretty systematic? It wasn't just pulling <clears throat> with your arm back. Right, right. Yeah, it, no, it that's, felt like the whole. That's an important whole. distinction. You're really working yeah. that spiral. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Remember that video we did on that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, look at his right hip, man. That's it works really, so good when he does this. It's amazing. This is so this is this is what lawnmower. this is what you are going to right. like do every day, like 50, sure. 60 times a day, both sides. Because the more you can do this, the more it's gonna translate yeah. little by little. And then you're gonna see, you know, you're gonna gain 10 yards on each yeah. iron. You're gonna create more speed with the driver. You're gonna understand that winding and unwinding. Yeah. Look how straight the ball's going now. Because what happens now is you get up here and you've kind of built a structure, and now all you're going to do is just unwind. Getting that path right around neutral. Pretty much. A lot better. Does it feel a little simpler? Yeah, that one was left. Yeah. And I never hit a fade. Never. Yeah. Well, you just, that was good. You just figured out how. good now it's just like wind up unwind it's yeah, not like it. wind god look like at that that really path is so up. much yeah. better Don't loop it <laughs> yeah look how much better his rotation in the hip is it's so much freaking better 2.2 yeah you're only five miles an hour slower right now than your very fastest swing oh, oh, that's that crazy nice. isn't it it's good negative negative point four. four look at that come on baby that's pretty straight yeah, if you like no curve, you got how that, it. How does that? How does that feel? Good. Yeah, coming down this way. Yeah. Yeah. Feels really good. I, you know, I don't feel like I'm getting caught. You know, it's all no, right. 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 It goes together. Up to the top. We're gonna pause for two seconds. Then I want you to give yourself just a little bit of a engine start, and then go. It's like a little, a little pump. Yeah. A little pressure left, right, Milo? Yeah. Mmm. Mm. That was the best one. Yummers. That was good. That was really good. I'm just wa I'm just watching the path of the club, and that was like that was really. Good. I'm, I'm just watching really how good. his arm structure is changing directions, yeah. and it's not going, look, collapsing on him anymore. Mm. Wow, your elbow like is now almost so much like, better. Right on the sides. Yeah. It's totally different. Mm, that was a good that one. Was, that was really good. I love when it looks Roped. like sewed together like yeah. that. You know, even four or five in out, you could live with that. But like seven, eight, nine. Yeah. 
Yeah, well, the problem was much. he was six or seven in out with a square face. That was nice. really good. That was good. Okay, get water break. But the right, uh, yeah. the right elbow was absolutely money that. there. Ab the right elbow got nice okay. in front. That was yeah. really, really good. That was a little I bit think better. He can get up over 130. Yeah. Ball speed, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There he did it. There you go. That was yep. good. Ball speed went bouncing up. Wow, that was good. That was good. There you go. The idea of physically feeling like you lower your arms yeah. down like this slows you down. Yeah, oh, yeah. for sure. Ball of a 90. At least he's getting the right elbow in front. Mm -hmm. yeah, the path is never going to be that, that much off. That's just a matter of where the face is, right? And I think that's when he gets it here. I think it just... Because he's so used to coming away from the inside, right? That was yeah. that was pretty good. Woo! Boy, that one looked that was a little different. We might see one forty ball speed out of him. What did you feel there? What like what did you try to do differently there? I just concentrated really on getting the shoulder back and the elbow forward. Yep. I mean, you're not going to see much better than that right there. That was I mean AOA four eight thirteen launch two fifty nine total. That's really, really good. Last two drop just a tick more under. Mm -hmm. Let's make a couple just little practice swings like this right here. Like a full system kind of in front of you, kind of a little pump. So yeah, you don't need to drive it so much, just together. When you get this in front of you, mm -hmm. you're going like this. Yeah. I want you to feel like it's wider. Wide, exactly. There you go. That's better. So you've got to be... Like, if I was going to slap something, I wouldn't slap it like this. Hmm. Yeah, 136. It's going to go up, too. Zero pass. Jeez, man, that's really, really good. His structure is pretty damn good. 37.5. That's the most. He's going to be 93, highest, that was 94. Your today. 92. Five, I was really flushed then. 92.5. 138.5 out of 92. Yes. Whoa. Whoa. That's Come on. One, no, it's 140. It's going to bounce over it. 140.1. Yes. 260. That good deserves job. some knucks right there. Really that's, good job. That's, really, really good job. Left, right shoulder deep. Get that right elbow in front. Ooh. So, <coughs> if you were going to take that ball and throw it, how would your right arm work? Like, I want you to throw it like you're going to throw it at the screen. Okay, feel how your arm went like this. Would your arm be bu all bunched up like this? Right. How you get yeah. it right? Like skipping a rock. Yeah, Same it's gotta, thing, right? Boom. Your arm doesn't, you don't want it in tight to you. We want to get it. Boom. Wind it up. Yeah, that'll be 137. Well, that's really good. 257, a little gentle cut. It's only... Four yards shorter than the longest one. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have really enjoyed this episode of our two part series with Fast Eddie. Make sure you watch both parts as we share numerous clips from various sessions with our students. And I want to give a special thanks to the Back Nine Golf of Gilbert, Arizona, for letting us use their facility for these awesome speed sessions. The link's in the description below so you can get in touch with Fast Eddie for private lessons in the Orlando area, as well as online learning directly with him. Lastly, if you're new to the channel and you feel you got something out of this, please be sure to smash that like and subscribe button. It really helps us out. And be sure to come over to mitolinesgolf.com where we can help you learn to swing like an athlete.